Hey -o, my name is Chupacabra, and today I'm going to be introducing Redbeard95 Preview. As with my other preview videos, I will be doing this small introduction, I'm going to go over some of the track facts, and then I'm going to be quiet and I'm just going to let the video play. I'm going to be spending the next few days working on a bunch of preview videos. I really want to get more content out there quickly, and these videos are kind of short, sweet, and to the point. So please hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest NAFCAR tracks, news, and information. Thank you very much for your support. Alrighty, let's jump right into it. The name of this track is the Red Beer 95, and we have two share codes for it. We have the NAFCAR sanctioned share code in brackets, and we have the NAFCAR unsanctioned share code in stars. And in a moment here, we will go over which one is right for you. The style of this race is a trail event and the motif is paved road, which means 100% of this track is done on paved road. The starting location for this race is the Lost Jardine Circuit. The course length is 15 miles and the race distance is also 15 miles and that's because this is a trail event. Tire wear is rated a 2 out of 5 for this event, so it shouldn't be a problem. Damage is rated 1 out of 5 for this event, which means you should accrue no damage throughout the course of the race. Bots come in on a 4 out of 5 scale. They handle this track very well, they just don't have a very high top speed. So you can easily kind of pass them going down the straightaway. And the difficulty with all these things in mind is a 1 out of 5. This track should take you about 4.5-5 minutes to complete on S1. Obviously, if you're using an X-Class car, this track could take about 4, maybe 3 minutes, 50 seconds. So it's a very quick and fast track for the second race of the NAFCAR season. Let's quickly circle back to determine which share code is correct for you. So this track, it doesn't matter whether you have damage on or off. What matters is if you are racing S1 class car or not. If you're racing an S1 class car, go ahead and use the NAFCAR sanction code in brackets. If you're not using an S1 car, please go ahead and use the unsanctioned code with stars. Alrighty everybody, well that's all I have for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this video play and you guys can have a look at the track yourself without my weird voice in the background. And these next few days, I'm going to be pumping out a few of these preview videos just to get a little more content up on my page. And I will be circling around and doing deep dives for all these videos, my play-by-play uh, -play videos. So like I said, uh, please keep a lookout. I'm going to have a bunch of videos dropping within the next few days. And thank you so much, everyone, for your support. And it really means a lot. Everyone have a great evening, night, morning, or day. Let's play the video.